Hey everyone, long time no see. Jack Small of Anime Station back to get into you all again with another video, and this is going to be the last video of SpongeBob Month 2. Yes, this month has been very short, and I apologize for that, but there's been a lot of things going on lately, and I've just very rarely had the time to actually make videos, so. Um, I'm sorry about that, but, um,. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and run through all 25 remaining episodes um, of Season 2, and then I'll give you my top 10 episodes, and then I'll give you final thoughts and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and just go through this at rapid fire. So the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna say the episode name, I'm gonna say its status, whether it's bad, garbage, bad, good, great, or classic, or okay. That's also a rating in there, too. And then I'll give you... I'll show you a quick highlight, and then... Which will play... Which will show up as I do the uh, final verdict on each one, so... Unfortunately, we can't really do a full in-depth reviews for the rest of these, so we're just going to just blast right through them. So let's go ahead and uh, get this ball rolling. Uh, also, huge apologies to both Lexi and Spider Phantom. Unfortunately, we really weren't able to collaborate like we originally had planned. But, you know, things happen. It's alright. You guys are still going to get that double aquatic Neptune reaction. But it probably won't be to, like, the very end of the month, which we're getting close to. But it's not quite there yet. It can't be tomorrow because I have things to go to. But, anywho, with all that said, let's just run through these nice and quick. Christmas Who? Classic, 20 out of 20. I give specials double points. So that's a 20 out of 20. Uh, survival of the Idiots, good, 6 out of 10. Dumped, garbage, 1 out of 10. No free rides, okay, 5 out of 10. I'm your biggest fanatic, okay, 5 out of 10. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, great. Mermaid Man Barnacle Boy 3, excuse me. Great, 9 out of 10. Squirrel Jokes, great, 9 out of 10. Pressure, good, 7 out of 10. The Smoking Peanut, great, 8 out of 10. Shanghai, classic, 8 out of 10. Well, 20 out of 20, excuse me. Wrong one. Gary Takes a Bath, um... I'm going to say that's a great episode, and that's an 8 out of 10. Sorry, a little last minute adjustments here. Uh, welcome to the Chum Bucket, uh, classic, 10 out of 10. Frankendoodle, great, 9 out of 10. The Secret Box, good, 6 out of 10. Band Geeks, classic. 10 out of 10. Don't really have much to say about that one except, uh, is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> uh, that, that one's, cl that's a classic. That's just the greatest moment in all of animation. Graveyard Shift, classic, 10 out of 10. Crusty Love, good, 7 out of 10. Procrastination, good, 6 out of 10. I'm with Stupid, garbage, 1 out of 10. Sailor Mouth, classic, 10 out of 10. Artist Unknown, great, 9 out of 10. Uh, Jellyfish Hunter, bad, 3 out of 10. Fry Cook Games, classic, 10 out of 10. Squid on Strike, great, 9 out of 10. And finally, Sandy, SpongeBob, and the Worm, good, 7 out of 10. Okay, now let's go over the top 10 best of the season. Number 10, Squid on Strike. Great episode. It's much funnier when you're an adult. There's a lot of... So, there's some great references. There's a lot of funny moments. Yeah, it just... It deserves the 10th spot. Number 9 is Dying for Pie. I already went on a good while talking about why this episode is so great. The way they were able to get away with dark humor and death in a kid's show without getting censored, that automatically gets you points. And like I said, that highlight is just priceless. 
Uh, number eight is the Fry Cook Games, um, an epic parody of the Olympics that brings on the laughs and doesn't stop until the end. And of course, name's not Rick. That's that's just a classic moment right there. Seven is Welcome to the Chum Bucket. This is a very this is an amazing episode. Like seriously, these are only hairs above each other. Like I kid you not. There were so many great. So there were there were like eight. 10 out of 10s and out of this season so yeah welcome to the chum bucket is a great amazing episode they handled the premise well the song grill is not home is classic and it's just non-stop laughs it's an amazing episode highly recommended number six is shanghai uh wow just what is special <laughs> um the potty and patchy bits make me laugh a lot. Uh, I love Flying Dutchman's interactions with SpongeBob and the crew. The Fly of Despair is just hilarious. And of course, who can forget? Literally, literally, literally. <laughs> Number five is Sailor Mouth. Uh, they got away with swearing in a kid's show in a very funny way. And it teaches a good lesson. And being hilarious at the same time, so... Yep, that's why it's number five. Four is Imitation Crabs. I went on and on in my review about why this episode is so amazing. And why they would later try to keep ripping it off in the later seasons. But those are years behind of us. So Those are years ahead of us, excuse me. But yeah, Imitation Crabs, it's a classic episode. I absolutely enjoy it. I know a lot of people like to call it just good. But I, I personally think it's an amazing, hilarious episode. Which is why it's fourth on my list. Three is Christmas Hill. I should not have to go into much depth about this one. I already reviewed it at 25 Days of Holidays last year. And everyone else has already called it one of the greatest Christmas specials ever. It's so heartfelt. It's so heartwarming. It's funny. It's well made incredibly voice acted and squidward takes the spotlight in the best way possible and it teaches and it also warms my heart so much and it is a it is a must watch for me alongside all the rank and bass classics every year it's an amazing special and it is what defines great chris great christmas specials and great spongebob specials which is why it's number three on my list Two is Graveyard Shift. This is mostly because I'm a massive horror nut, but every time I watch a really bad horror movie and then watch this episode, it gets funnier every time I watch it. Looking at all how they make fun of all the tropes, like the phone not working, the lights flickering, how the story actually ends up becoming true, then the twist at the end, the cameo from Nosferatu in one of, in a very funny way who doesn't come back until season 10 or think it was either season 10 or season 11 that he gets another cameo but yeah that that's an amazing moment and of course uh squidward i used your clarinet to unclog my toilet <laughs> and then like eating his arms uh like constantly finding ways to eat his arms very creatively <laughs> what spongebob does and then Squidward actually coming around to believe his own story and of course them screaming with their eyebrows going crazy it is just amazing classic episode highly recommended a must watch and if you're a horror fan trust me I know you've gone through a lot of bad horror movies and I recommend after you watch a really bad one watch this again it gets funnier every time you see a bad horror movie just every time and number one, surprising absolutely no one, is Band Geeks, because uh, this shouldn't surprise anyone. It's the best episode in the franchise. But, I mean, not my personal favorite episode of all time. That's going to be in season four. Uh, little wink, wink, nudge, nudge. See if you can guess it. Uh, this this episode's classic, man. I mean, who can forget this? This is Squidward, the Squilliam's first appearance. All the great band jokes. Uh, how Squidward gets to be the star of the show. Um, the nonstop laughs. It actually does drama well. And 
of course, sweet victory. Who the heck can forget that? They still need to play at the Super Bowl, by the way. NFL, get on that and do it. And I mean the full thing, not just a little insert in a Paramount Plus commercial. But yeah, that this uh, it's a classic, amazing episode, and I shouldn't have to go into detail about why it's the best of season two. Okay, so going into overall scores, we've had eight classics, eleven greats, thirteen goods, two bad, and two garbage, and I believe two, three, or four okays. That gives us a thirty to nine which makes this obviously a great season. Season 2 of Spongebob is my personal favorite season of the show. Like, ever. Like, even more than the modern ones, which is insane considering how better they're getting. At least in my opinion. And I I adore this season, man. This is the season that got me into Spongebob. Like, so many of the reruns I watched as a kid were from season 2. And this has so many classic beloved episodes and i i just i adore watching it man and i especially adored watching it just to read just to do all these reviews again i'm sorry i had to rush end the month but like i said you do have a a few a double or should i do a triple i might actually do a triple reaction of aquatic neptune to help make up for the lack of content and uh, I'm also using this to give you guys, uh, tell you guys what's next for the channel. Starting in July, we're going to be starting something called Summer of Sonic. Now, if you guys don't know, 2021, it's more specifically two days ago, was Sonic's 30th anniversary. And to celebrate, I want to do a whole two months of nothing but Sonic. Talk about the games talk about the characters, my favorite moments, the worst aspects, because that's apparently popular on YouTube, <laughs> and just, just talk about Sonic and everything I love about him, and all the things I wish I could forget, but you know what? It is what it is, so yeah, just look forward to that. It's going to be starting, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it starts July 5th, because I'm going to wait to start it until after 4th of July and have a few days of break before I jump into a month that's actually going to be two months. Yeah, surprise, this is going to be July and August. And then it will lead into September, which is Super saiyan Timber Z. I know, it's a working name title, but that's when I'm going to be talking about Dragon Ball Z. And that has me hyped through the roof. So... Um, for those of you that don't know, watch my Nintendo Switch, watch my Nintendo Direct reaction, and you'll see why. <laughs> you'll see what I mean when I'm hyped by that. Okay, and that's going to close the book on SpongeBob SquarePants Season 2. Um, unfortunately, we weren't really able to do a whole lot this year, but I still had fun going back through and rewatching all of these episodes. I mean, it is my in my opinion, the best season of this franchise to this day. Well, I still haven't watched season 13 yet, so maybe that might change. Who knows? But all I know is that season 2 is amazing. And if you haven't seen it yet, highly recommend it. If you want to know how great Spongebob can be, just watch any of the 10 episodes that I listed as the best of season two and you will completely understand why this show is so beloved and so special and uh little rest in peace to ernest borgnine tim conway and stefan hillenberg i didn't make a video about that so i'm giving them the salute right now so all three of you guys were awesome thank you guys for playing a big part in making this franchise so special and whatever comes next i just hope you're happy and you're, I just hope you're happy and you're doing great wherever you are. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to get emotional. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Okay, I'm rambling now, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. Uh, thank you guys so much for sticking around for another month of Spongebob. Uh, this has always been my favorite month to do for ever since I started this channel. It's been my favorite. 
So I can only get more excited to talk about more SpongeBob, even the the bad stuff. But we still have two more years to go before we get into like the really bad cringy territory, so and hopefully next month, next year it won't be so rushed. So Thank you guys so much for watching another and uh, sticking around with me for another year of being on being uh, with our best friend in the pineapple under the sea, and I can't wait till next year. S and uh, like I said, Summer Sonic starts July fifth, but you guys are gonna get a triple aquatic Neptune reaction to officially close this month out. But this is going to be a book close on the season reviews itself for the year. So. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Five Nights at Lexi's and uh, Spider Phantom. Even though they weren't able to collaborate with me this year, I still want to give them a shout out because I did put them in the intro. And they are awesome, really awesome people. And if